Rollerblading was the fastest growing sport in America during the 90s, but in the world of extreme sport, rollerblading lost its appeal to other sports, such as skateboarding and snowboarding. Despite rollerblading's steep decline in popularity in the early 2000s, one man kept it going and took rollerblading to the extreme. Meet Jornive Blondu, also known as Roller Man. The Roller Man suit is Jornive's own invention. He was a student at an industrial design school in Paris in 1994. And for his final graduation project, he created the Roller Man suit. He wanted to create something that didn't yet exist, perhaps even something that filled gaps in gliding postures and sports, with a goal to enable the human body to move freely in all possible positions. Combining these impulses with his love for skating, he created a suit of full body armor, equipped with 32 wheels placed on the hands, feet, knees, torso, arms, and back. Now, even though Jornive is known as the Roller Man, and the suit would be best known as a roller suit, wheel suit, or roller blade suit, the activity of using the suit is referred to as body blading, roller suiting, and wheel suiting. But Jornive coined his own term for using the suit, which he calls buggy rolling. Jornive Blondu is known as the most skilled and courageous skater in the world today. He often does high-speed downhill skating on mountain roads all over the world, and has set a speed record of more than 126 kilometers or 78 miles per hour, which has never been matched by anyone. Now, you might be wondering, how does he slow down or stop a suit that has no brakes? Well, the most common way to brake in rollerblades is usually done by placing one foot facing forward while the other foot on an angle to create drag. This is the same in the rollerblade suit. You'll notice he repositions his arm and leg to create drag when he needs to slow down, such as going around corners. Just so you know, as unsafe as it looks going down mountain roads at high speed, he can slow to a stop very easily and he has never hit a car. In case you're wondering what happens if he hits a stone or pebble, unlike a skateboarder who usually goes flying off his skateboard when it comes to a sudden stop after hitting a stone, the roller suit is attached to the body, and because you're moving at high speed and have such a low center of gravity, you'd probably not even be aware you hit a stone. You would simply roll over it and keep going. Over the years, there have been various commercials, TV shows, and even movies featuring people using a rollerblade suit. The two most well-known would be the end credit scene to Yes Man with Jim Carrey and the movie CZ-12, also known as Chinese Zodiac, where Jackie Chan is going downhill to get away from soldiers, and he even rolls under a truck. Jornive not only made the roller man suit for the movie, he even trained Jackie Chan on how to use it, and some of the stunts were even performed by Jornive, such as going under the truck, spinning around, and other stunts. Now, some of you might think Jornive stole his idea for the rollerblade suit from the movie, but Chinese Zodiac came out in 2012, but the rollerman suit is Jornive's own invention, which he created in 1994. So, no, he did not steal the idea from the movie. Since the original prototype suit was made in 1994, there have been over 30 different suit designs since then. Jornive said he still makes these suits today, and it takes about two months to mold a complete set. And the suits sell for about 6,400 euro, or about 6,760 US dollars. 
He has even started making a power armor suit, or an electric motorized suit, one that has powered wheels with electric motors on his chest so he can maintain speed on flat terrain and going up hills at speeds of up to 22 miles per hour using a hand controller. Plus, the suit and wheels also light up at night. Jornive's ultimate goal is to develop the sport so it can one day become more of a mainstream sport, like skateboarding did. Stopping on rollerblades is always a bit scary, especially going downhill. Now, imagine rolling downhill on your belly, just inches off the ground at high speeds going face first, especially with cars coming the other way. That is something I could never do. But then again, no one will ever refer to me as the daredevil in the roller suit. That honor goes to Jornive Blondu, aka the Roller Man. <laughs> 